Bro, I don't know if Americans are genuinely confused or they're just thick, because this blew my mind. And if you're good Americans, are children. Yes, you heard me right. So I'm sorry to break it to you, but there's no such thing as African Americans. African Americans are children. Yes, you heard me right. So I'm sorry to break it to you, but there's no such thing as African Americans. I don't blame him. Uh, from what you can see, he's an African and he doesn't know his history. So I blame his teacher and I blame the entire education system he went through. So that's what I would say for now. This video is trending right now on TikTok and hearing black American like commenting on this post, it's, it's so heartbreaking. I could only put together a few clips of what I came across, but it's so, I, I felt, I felt them. I, I, I really felt the heart that they, they felt through this post coming from an African. This is what you call diaspora war, uh, but this one is, it's beyond it because it's, it's being, it's, it's taught by, by a system of education that includes even the African, you know, you're being taught in a system that erases your history. I don't even think if he even understand the history, his own history as an African, you know, because if you don't understand your, your history as an African, it's hard to understand who are the black American. It's, it's so hard. Yeah, <laughs> it's so hard. So I'll let you listen to the rest, but first- We ourselves are educated. My sister talked about education, but really what are we teaching ourselves? It is fella Nicola Pokuti said, teacher, don't teach me nonsense. I'm just imagining, just imagine you're falling asleep and then you wake up. Let me say you've slept in Africa. You've slept in this particular, let me not say even continent or something. You've slept in this house and then you wake up in a different house. And when you wake up from that, uh, from a, that different house, you find that people are completely different in that house and you're trying to trace where you've been. You know, how is it to be in a deep sleep? So that's how I would compare this situation to. That's how I would relate to this situation. I'm seeing people on internet story. called African and they're black, they look like you, and they're trying to look for connection. How am I connected to these people and don't seem to see how, how the connection is like? Yeah, so for them to accept the term African-American was was based on the fact that they didn't know. They, did, they, were, they were not clear, that the history wasn't clear then because they were also, you know, they were, the history was also falsified. We know that fact that the history was fal falsified and they were not touch the history on its entirety you, you know they, they are part of the history that were missing they were they were hidden i will i'll bring that video later but when i came across this video i felt like yeah we need to know first what is happening so that you see the need to learn what is happening what is real yeah you know sometimes when you don't have the gap to fill it's it's hard to know why do i why do we even need the information we need so this is the gap this is what is happening and it's saying otherwise Yep, proud African-American straight out of Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised. And before I could ask him any more questions, brother, I answered it for myself. These people genuinely think that African-American is its own race. And this is actually deep, bro. These African-Americans are children. Yes, you heard me right. So I'm sorry to break it to you, but there's no such thing as African-Americans. Your ancestors were just taken from Africa to America brainwashed and completely forgot where they came from and that's the truth so maybe go look at your history before saying i'm african American. first of all how old are you two you don't think we know this all black people in america know that our ancestral history slash beginnings are not american most of us we know that we come from Africa. That's why we're African American. <laughs> but we don't know exactly where. Our history has been lost for so, so, so many years. So we only give insight on the history that we have. So if I'm telling you I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, or Alabama, or South Carolina, or Mississippi. My grandparents are from Mississippi, South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia. I'm giving you the history that we that we know. We're not fortunate enough to trace back our history to our African ancestral roots. But we know where we come from. We just don't know exactly where. 
When it comes to diaspora wars, African Americans are damned if we do and damned if we don't. We are treated like we are white people and we're not. We may be American, but we're not white. Plus, when we say that some of you are black, you get mad and say that we are policing your identity. When some of us say that you're not black, you get mad and say that we act like we are the only black people in the world. Which one is it? You guys always attack African Americans, then play victim when we stand up for ourselves. Yes, some African Americans have their problems, but it's not everyone. So stop generalizing and we won't generalize you. Bro, what part of Africa are you from? He said, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I was like, oh, what? But like, where are your parents from? Atlanta, Georgia. Um, so what about your grandparent? Atlanta, Georgia. So my next question was, how are you black? There's a lot of black people in Atlanta, Georgia, son. So you're telling me that you're not from Africa, but your skin is saying otherwise. Attacking us? For what? Okay, so never mind the fact that y'all are just acting completely oblivious to the fact that African Americans were ripped from their homeland, tossed into a new country, stripped of their identity, and then had to assimilate into something that they were very unfamiliar with. I mean, y'all are really out here acting like we just got up one day and came over to America and was like, we're gonna call ourselves African Americans. We didn't even we didn't even come up with that shit. Like that that shit was thrown upon us. Like, be fucking for real. And the crazy part about all of this is most of us can only trace back maybe three, four generations of our family and it's still only gonna be in America. Like there's literally only three people that I know personally that can actually trace their family's lineage outside of America. And it is so, it's like really, it's, it's mind blowing. But it's also like very inspirational to know that their family kept up with that information and passed it on from generation to generation. But for the majority of us, we don't have that. And that's why a lot of people have opted to do the 23andMe and the Ancestry because they do want to know. But if you ask an African-American where they're from, they're going to tell you somewhere here in America because that's all we fucking know. I'm begging you guys to do an ounce of research into America identity at all because African-American is its own identity, its own race, because a whole bunch of demelanated people decide to steal them, then do their best to completely erase any cultural connection, any history, any bloodlines as they saw fit. They then proceeded to beat them into submission, and then when they were freed, made sure to pass a whole bunch of laws to make sure that they never had a foothold in society to this day that they're still fighting to get. Y'all helped make this country the least you could do is learn the history because for some reason we have to learn british history growing up and i don't fucking get why beside from the fact that y'all are grandfathers more or less like i can't trace my african nor my irish history all the way back because of the british bro with all due respect it take like two seconds and some critical thinking skills come on bro we were slaves we have no idea where the fuck we came from like, I hate to be blunt, but it is what it is. They didn't protect our lineage, our heritage, where we came from, etc., etc. On top of that, a lot of black people in America are going to be mixed. Straight up mud blood, Hermione Granger time. Oh, I can say that? You know why? Because I got Irish in me somehow. And Cherokee. Straight up, my grandma looked like Spongebob mom. She light skinned with freckles. I could do 23 and me, but fuck that going to do for me. Yeah, one day I could find out I'm Kenyan, but like that doesn't all of a sudden mean that I'm gonna start wilding and out in Kenyan culture because nobody in my family be doing that. Weird way I'm thankful because we got more Asian people in my crib, like dead ass. A lot of my life is based on my skin tone, but at least the culture I surround myself is not based on that. I am a real American, fight for the rights of- You get on this app, and you try to shame black Americans because we have no idea where our African origins are for reasons that are so far beyond our control. But you're on this app speaking English. It's fantastic that you are either the child or grandchild of an African immigrant or you know what Caribbean island your family descends from. You may even know the exact village that your family's from and I think that's fantastic but you still speak English. Do you speak your native tongue? 
because so many of us have had that stripped from us in various ways because we are all victims of colonization and white supremacy. Some of us know our African origins. Some of us can only trace back a couple generations to whatever state our enslaved ancestors were sold to or born out of. That doesn't make anyone any better than this the man. A quick history lesson. The continent of Africa was divided up evenly amongst the European nations at the time. They were conquered and pillaged of their resources and their people, save for a few nations like Ethiopia. Some of you with any amount of geographical history know that the way Africa is divided up now is not how it was divided prior to its exploration by European nations at the time thus starting the very systematic and brutal extraction of Africa that lasts to this current day, which we all on a global scale, everyone a part of the diaspora can feel the effects of. Each one of our experiences of groups of people is different. My experience as an African fucking American is going to be different from somebody of the Caribbean, or from somebody from South Africa, of somebody from the UK, and the people that still live in Africa today. Now, every nation after slavery dealt with their diasporic peoples in a similar way, different forms of apartheid, different forms of Jim Crow, racist systems that systematically oppressed them, kept them at the lower tiers of society, prevented them from accessing wealth, prevented them access to their own heritage. Now, some of us are luckier than others. Some of us can look back and have a well kept together bits of history of our heritage to be like, okay, my people came from here, my people came from here, right? The furthest I've been able to go back is five generations to a 70-year-old woman that entered into Baltimore, Maryland in the early, early 1800s as a slave. And that's just one of my great greats. Now, speaking on the experience of us in Africa and America, and, and, and America trying to trace our ancestry back, a lot of our records are in people's basements being passed down from generation to generation to generation. A lot of our information isn't even public record. I was only able to find most of my family history because they were mulatto, mixed with white. So therefore their records were kept well. So even my experience isn't going to be the same as the next African-American when they try to go back and trace their lineage. Everyone in the diaspora's history and heritage is complex. If we wanted to kick bells of, hey, we could say you going by a Ghanaian man, is that even what Ghanaians were going by prior to its exploration by conquestors? And the same thing can be said for most of Africa, which was named by European explorers. You're beefing with the wrong people. We're not the ones that have y'all artifacts in museums in the UK. You are a UK citizen. You're from the UK. How did your people get there? But even that's besides the point. As a African American, African American or Salon or wherever y'all want to call us or whatever we go by, we have a very complex heritage, history, and culture that we were able to cultivate a mix between our African ancestry, American as and, and American ancestry. And it's something to be respected and revered, seeing as how half of the world celebrates it in some way, shape, or form, copies, mimics, from the way that we speak, from the way that we dress, from how our music is. That's around the world. So, I don't know, like I said, you beef with the wrong cut, one, cuz. Quit being so disrespectful openly. You should have said that shit to that man's face. He probably would have knocked your head off. Opinion, but like, Afrobeats is no longer Afrobeats. It's crazy because we really talk- What I think is so crazy about Diaspora Wars because African Americans did tell people um, what happened to hip hop will happen to Afrobeats, the commercialization, the whitewashing, et cetera, et cetera. Because Selena Gomez is on a song now. Now everybody up in arms. But that's not the point of this conversation. What I really want to say is that it is crazy that African Americans, we function in a very, very particular pivotal point in society. Everything that happens to us from our oppressors will eventually happen to other subsections of the African diaspora. But no, when we tell y'all the steps to whitewashing uh, our culture, what it looks like in real time to warn y'all, we are whiny, 
we are um, trying to protect a culture that doesn't exist. But my question will always be this. If we are the bottom, if we're at the bottom of our social hierarchy in America, financially, not culturally, we're at the top. But if we are the examples of what it means to be a very damned population um, in this country, you would think that people would pay attention to how we are treated so they could gear up and prepare, you know, and kind of brace for impact. But instead, instead, diaspora wars to pile on to the African-American experience being invalidated, to the African-American experience being gaslit, to the African-American experience being manipulated. You would rather pile on and add to that rather than seeing your fellow man and saying, oh shit, they have a point. Now, I do think not only as an anti-black and not only do people who are at the bottom of things globally want to stand on somebody's shoulders at some point in time in history. And yes, African-Americans are the kicking and punching bag of the diaspora. But I just think it's always very, very interesting to see that we always have an opportunity to see what point of view the African-American community is coming from to really consider, to really, you know, resonate with it. And yet we still choose to be extremely gaslighting disrespectful and dismissive of the african-american experience when in reality it's the blueprint for how other people will do y'all eventually when it comes down to it because there is no way that selena gomez is on an afrobeat song and is just about to chart way about to be received way more than any afrobeat artist potentially could be right now outside of burner boy but y'all know how i feel about him the African Americans don't have culture, but you have birthday sex in your songs. Brandy twice. Oh, okay. I just wanted to know if you saw how fucking dumb you sounded. Okay, I just wanted to know. <laughs> but no, for real. Like every time y'all don't choose us, or we don't choose to uplift African Americans. Every time we choose not to see situations that we're dealing with and provide sympathy instead of a finger wag, every subsection of the diaspora will continue to be colonized, commercialized the same way African-Americans have been in America. Because you're not seeing what we're going through as something that can happen to you. You would rather point your finger at us and say, well, that's what you get because that's all you've ever gotten. And that is going to lead to the destruction of black people. That's going to lead to the destruction of blackness, the black dollar, black identity, before any white person could touch anything that we got. Because y'all are so busy doing diaspora wars instead of collecting solidarity, building solidarity amongst one another to end the commercialization of black people. And I also don't want a diaspora war to break out from this video. I'm going to say this and leave it there. If you understand the language that I'm speaking and you look like me, you got this with this going on right now. <laughs> Shut the hell up. OK, don't come in these comments doing yappity 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 yap. Go listen to that Selena Gomez Afro, but that's going to go number one before you come at me. That was it with the African and African-American diaspora war. You know, most of it, most part of it is influenced by history. That was not well taught. But also, there are other influences, you know. Uh, there are other influences. And it's both ways sometimes. Sometimes African-American are aggressed. And some other times, African are aggressed by African-American. So, uh, but... There is need, you know, history, when history is being falsified, it's really, uh, it's, it's a danger, you know? And yeah, that's why there's need to go to history, no matter other, it doesn't matter all these other factors that are influencing this uh, war yeah, within the diasporas, but it's important to note that the history is the one that should be kept safe because that's the identity of our people. I, I'm glad you watched to this extent. If this is the kind of videos you'd love to see more often, Click that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share the video. Also, do not forget to leave me a thought kindly. Goodbye.